Okay, I'm going to show you guys the Sky Suite again, and then I'm going to talk about the service you get as well, because they've done little things on this trip that just, it's one of those reasons that if I'm staying on a celebrity cruise ship, I want to be in a suite. Um, I'm, I'm at that point now. I'm okay with, you know, a regular balcony on Princess. I'm okay with a regular balcony on Royal Caribbean and Norwegian and Carnival. But when I stay on a Celebrity Edge class, especially, I want a suite. And I'm going to show you why. Okay, so we'll start off right here at the entranceway. You have your double closet here. You also have a closet here as well with the safe drawers. Tons and tons of storage. By the way, every single suite has a router built in to the stateroom. So there's no long distances for your internet. Here's the bathroom. Start off over here. You can see it's a double sink. It's all one sink, but double faucet. Kind of like a farmhouse. Look at the size of the shower bathtub combination. Again though, there's about a one foot step up if you need to step up. But multi-head showers, rainforest shower, very, very, very nice with premium amenities there. And of course, the water closet for some privacy. I know my friend Morgan from the unofficial travel guides is a little partial to these, but at least nobody is staring at it because it's kind of off to the side, right? So it's not so bad on this ship. Off we go. Here we have the electronics, folks. You control your lights on and off. You can close the curtains automatically. I'll close them for now so we can get a better view of the room. Coming inside, huge, huge bed. They do come apart. You don't have to keep them. Over on the right, you'll also see an outlet and USB plugs, hooray. Full-size couch, lots and lots of room to move around, a full desk, this can also push in, by the way, or pull out a little further if you need. Your vanity mirror, full-size TV, and a piece de resistance. The whole window thing. Let's go over here and let's open those up again. We're in Malta today, the last port. So, look at the size of the balcony. Just to give you a pretty good idea. Huh? Like, okay. Look how much I can walk. And uh, not touch anything. It really is a perfect size and it's covered in case you get some rain. The walled city of Malta, everybody. While we're here, here's a little peek. In case you're wondering, it was only 33 degrees Celsius. So around 102, I believe. Here's also a secret. If you're ever on these celebrity cruises, you have these balconies. If you want air conditioning, don't just leave it like this, because sometimes the stateroom attendants will leave it like that. You have to lock it in, otherwise the air conditioning doesn't come on. So I am I'm just going to tell you a little bit now. This stateroom is the lowest suite class that you can get. You From here you go to Celebrity Suites, Royal Suites, Penthouse Suites, etc. I may... Um, down the road at one point, I might try and 
you know, upgrade my bid or something to get into a penthouse suite, just to show you what, uh, what that would be like on a cruise ship. I've never stayed in a penthouse myself, so uh, it might be a cool experience to see. If I can find one at the right price, who knows? We'll see if I can do that. But here's some little tips that, that came. It comes with the concierge uh, in the retreat, and they will reserve seating for you in the theater for every show if you want. Now, they're usually up in the balcony, uh, front row balconies, which are good seats in this theater. Uh, however, I like to be down front. So I'm a front row guy. I find my own way and I find my own. And yeah, here we have two people for your stateroom. So we have, uh, for myself, I have a shell who is the lady who comes in and straightens up my room and everything like this and looks after those kind of needs. And then I have Milos, who is our butler on board, even in the lowest class suite. They, uh, they do little things for you. Like when we get on board, we didn't know, we didn't order any specialty dining or anything ahead of time because um, Alicia wasn't sure she was, you know, feeling well enough to try a lot of and restaurants. And we, we love Lumine restaurant, the sweet restaurant anyway. But we decided we would like to try either Eden or Le Voyage on this ship. And the, we walked on and it was sold out. Everyone had booked it ahead of time. So we were out of luck. So we went to Milos and I said, hey, by the way, if there's any chance to get us into either one of those restaurants on any day, uh, we will take it. And I invited our friend Monica, who's on the ship as well. And I said, "Try it. if you can get us for two, great. Three would be even better. And yesterday he got us tables in Le Voyage for three people. And we had a, a great dinner. I'll do a review on that on another video as well. And then he asked me, uh, you know, what my favorites are for the bar. The mini fridge and I'm used to that for the like a royal suite or something higher up that they'll look after whatever alcohol you want but they're giving it to me on this as well not a big alcohol guy so I said please have some diet coke um, that's all I, I really want on board they don't have diet dr. pepper so I'm going for diet coke and uh, every day now since I asked them that my fridge has been full of diet cokes and even today I'll show you something else in the middle he also noticed that when I go to port, I was bringing back salty, something salty, because there is always sweet on the cruise ship. There's chocolate everywhere. There's cakes, pastries, tarts, always sweet, 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 sweet. I was craving salty. So I would buy like pre-cooked popcorn and that and some regular chips, regular salt, salt and pepper chips kind of thing. Well, I got back from my next shore excursion. And here on my desk, Milos noticed that I had bought those and he brought me a plate of different types of chips and extra pop because salty makes you thirsty. And he brought me extra Diet Cokes because my fridge is already full. It's those kind of little things that like I don't ask for a lot. I ask for Diet Coke. I said, look, we, we didn't make a reservation. If anything comes up, is there any way we can get in? You know, let the maitre d' know. And they, they, they did. They absolutely got that ready for us. And they're there even more, every morning. They're uh, making sure that we know when to turn the clock ahead, turn the clock back, all those little things. Any kind of events like the Captain's Circle event, they, uh, they let us know. So, yeah, uh, that's one of the reasons I love staying in the suites on Celebrity Cruise Lines is that extra service that they give you. I love this design of suite. It's not long. It's wide and spacious. I love having the, I've stayed in the Royal Suite before and it's divided. It has like a bedroom and a living room. And I almost like this better because it's got the wider space for me personally to do my filming and set up my tripod and my camera equipment and my computer. And it, it just seems easier for me to work than having that separate bedroom uh, away from the living room. It just, uh, yeah, it's more convenient for me. So yeah, I kind of like the Sky Suites on Celebrity Edge class ships. Um, I don't know what they're like on the other ships. I saw some designs I wasn't fancy on. It didn't have the big wide window like I have. It had a wall and a balcony door. It's not the same thing. So for now, 
I'm giving a recommendation if you can and you find good prices. I found an excellent price on these suites, by the way, for Alicia and myself. Uh, saved a lot of money from what it was first asking. And uh, I recommend the Sky Suites on the Edge class ships. Absolutely. And especially if you can get the ones with the bed facing the balcony. Because it's great waking up in the morning and the, the screen opens up and you're sailing into Greece and into Malta or wherever you're sailing into. And your butler service and everything is top notch as well. And that's not even counting the retreat that you get to go to and Luminae restaurant that you get to go to, which is still, to this day, my favorite sweet restaurant on any of the cruise ships I've been on. So, yep, hats off to the Sky Suites and the staff on board the Celebrity Beyond, the Celebrity Edge, the Celebrity Apex, because I haven't had a bad experience yet.